In 2024, the Studio Series line expanded further, adding more characters to the Bumblebee movie as a concept art series. This includes the introduction of a core class Rumble, aka the blue one, who partners with Soundwave. Rumble transforms into a blue block of bits. It feels like it's almost something. If it had wheels, it could be a Cybertronian truck. The pile drivers look like boosters for a hovering cargo hold. But really, it fits into Soundwave like a trash compactor. Glad we got more than just Ravage. The primary purpose is to work with Soundwave, but if you miss that, then this is pretty much nothing. It's very small, I would flip the head around, and if you open the legs, both guns store neatly inside, exposing the core size peg and hole, but that's about it, it's just a chunk of parts. Robot mode. <laughs> Well, this is a cute little blue whatever you want to call it, and by that, I mean, where's the money going? I know the budget primarily goes to engineering, but this is like a Legion-class toy sold as an old Scout-class figure. Maybe it goes to the paint. There's lots of yellow, red, and light blue touches all around. But what's the price of a smile? Because he's adorable. I like the smooth, broad chest, the clean design, all the little components that make up the pile drivers, and the head that looks like Bruticus. Actually, it kind of looks like the Autobot cassettes. Studio series blaster anyone? Some would say articulation! Ball joint to head, shoulders out and in, forward to back, ab crunch, hips out and in, forward and back, ball joint, knees, and foot joint. So, no arms, but with the cool ab crunch, it's engineered for a purpose. To crouch and make the ground shake, making things fall off the shelves more than my cats do. I love the Decepticon logos at the ends of it. Let's take a look at the accessories. There's two guns with core size pegs, one with a 5mm peg that plugs in the back, but of course you can plug them in the hand. oh. Well, this is embarrassing. If you combine them, you can give it to Soundwave. I think if you don't have Soundwave, this could be an easy skip, especially since it seems too small without swapping arms and a usable alt form. But the robot is cute, I love the Neil pose, and I miss when the movie lines really expanded their cast in the toy line at random. Poor guy. His hands are Pepsi cans. Pepsi Man! All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.